All right, so let's see what sign is gonna come out. We got the first house. Oh, you got Libra, but I just did Libra earlier. So you might be dealing with the Libra. You got the one moon. Okay, you got Virgo. All right, so this reading is gonna be for the Virgos, yeah. I heard Virgo say, kiss my ass. <laughs> kiss my ass. Got new cards. You got kitchen, you got patience, and then you got remember who you are, and you got seasonal. Let's see what's gonna come out in the next deck. So you got friends with benefits. And then you got record too. So <laughs> maybe y'all, you, this right here on top. Maybe you and your friends with benefits probably recorded. Uh, um, y'all know, y'all know. Maybe I recorded, you know, something. You might be dealing with a scammer. And then they got, don't play yourself. You got city girl gang. Look, look, y'all. This what the... Remember I said... I'm like, why are they trying to tell me to give y'all an herb? This the herb right here. Bilberry. So this was the herb for um for the Motivational Monday message. Bilberry. It came out again. Okay? I also feel like that came out too. Because somebody probably need, need to get their eyes checked. Yes. Somebody need to get their eyes checked. It's okay. Hold up, y'all. The phone fell. Yeah, somebody probably need to get their eyes checked. Because it says it's good, good for night, night blindness, antioxidants, and it helps to improve your vision. Okay. You also have welcome, you have investigation, you have regret, you got drugs, you got swimming, you got true love, you got he wants to fuck you too, you got yoga, you got meditate, you got benefits, you got not your God, you got truck, you got religion, and then you got triggered. Who oh, child. All right. Let's put them out. So you probably um want a truck or you probably um yeah you probably want a new truck or you probably just got a new truck it's got not your god so maybe you and your partner don't believe in the same god you got benefits and that makes sense though like yeah because where it was The friends with benefits card came out. So somebody might just be dealing with you just for your benefits or whatever. Okay. You got the bill bear. You got meditating. You start meditating more. Okay. 
you probably found your true love or maybe you regret that you let go of your true love you got don't play yourself scammer he's a lot of cards y'all i gotta spread them out you got record so either you recorded somebody or y'all recorded you know i honestly feel like i already said that so whatever you got seasonal so i honestly feel like this whole little friends with benefits thing is like it's not permanent it's just seasonal or it may just be like a, a off and on thing they tell you to like be patient you might be dealing with a city girl okay um they tell you to remember who you are but yeah all the signs are here Got regret investigation. Okay. All right. All right, y'all. These was a lot of goddamn cards. A lot, a lot, a lot of cards. Let's see what other messages are gonna come out. You got breathe or breath. All righty. You got three blue cards. So I feel like you need to work on your thought chakra. Hey, everybody got this freedom card. You got open your heart and then you got the freedom card. So you probably been saying 333 three, three, or you probably been saying 1010 10, 10, or you probably been saying 777. Seven, seven. So the breath card is going to help to assist with ease, boundaries, and immunity. The benefits are to release allergies and nasal congestion. It helps to assist with the immune system, opens and directs breath to the head and sinuses. The affirmation is I sense and open to perfect balance and breath. And next card right here is freedom. You probably been seeing 1010. 10. It's going to help to assist with open openness balance metabolism and metabolism the benefits it helps to direct breath and awareness to neck and throat area aligns cervical spine releases tension from neck and jaw helps to balance energy and metabolism the affirmation is i embrace the freedom and openness of my pure expression the next card right here is Open your heart. So you probably been saying 777 or 717. This is going to help to assist with expansiveness, compassion, and self-acceptance. The benefits that helps to direct breath and awareness to chest, ribs, and back area. Directs energy to thymus gland to assist the immune system. Releases muscular tension from shoulders and upper back center. Opens the spiritual heart. The affirmation is I open my infinite heart and embrace my true nature. Okay, so let's see how oh, this flew on out. You got the unconditional love too as well. So you probably been saying two, two, two. It's gonna help to assist with gratitude, open heart, and empathy. I feel like they're telling you to open up your heart, and I also feel like look, both of these cards are green. So I feel like they are telling you to open up your heart and to have a little bit more empathy for like others um around you. Okay. The benefits it helps to support the cardio, respiratory, and immune system increases circulation in the chest, heart, and lungs. So I feel like you probably have been having like a lot of chest pains or whatever because you regret losing. Okay. But anyway, the affirmation is my heart blossoms open with unconditional love. Okay. So let's see what your crystal cards are. You got honey calcite. It say who needs it? Anyone with a job to do, the brilliant but lazy, or any Taurus. It says where to put it instead of banging your forehead repeatedly on your desk. Try a gentle kiss of honey calcite there instead. When to use it when the barriers to abundance feel too big to power through. When it's time to stop waiting your turn and stop waiting until tomorrow. Picture yourself triumphant on the other side of whatever stands in your way and call on honey calcite to kick the door. Break through your limits. All right. You also have Tibetan black quartz. 
It say who needs it, metaphysics, occultists, tantrists, or Sagittarius. So you may be dealing with the Sagittarius. Where to put it, wherever you are looking to elevate the vibe, operate on a higher plane and explore the vastness of your human consciousness. When to use it when you're chasing enlightenment on the meditation cushion, when you're pulling tarot cards. And it's telling you to light up your spiritual path, okay? So your next card right here is Quartz. It's a who needs it. Rock hounds intensifies the power of all of the stones. Or you may be dealing with Gemini. Okay, where to put it in between your eyebrows during meditation. When to use it when you find yourself believing the limitations your mind puts in front of you. Call on Quartz to help you see through the illusions. Clear the mind of self-doubt and surrender to the will of the universe and start manifesting the impossible. They tell you to enhance your vision. I also feel like, too, um, your third eye, it might be opening, okay? It's telling you to take that leap of faith in whatever you are trying to do, okay? I also feel like, too, somebody might might be pregnant or you may have a love offer um coming in or that person that that friends with benefits is starting to fall in love with you or i feel like they gonna end up expressing they love to you you got the two ones and then you also have the seven of swords this is always like giving me like sneaky deceptive behavior okay but like with this two of ones though i always look at the ones like it's a penis so i feel like you might be sleeping you might be sleeping with two, yeah, you're sleeping with two people and you got it, you heartbroken about it. I also feel like too, <laughs> that's crazy. I feel like you trying to save up for something or you just holding back. You holding back for for something. You holding back. Yep. I feel like you holding back because you're trying to use that as a tactic because you're still in love with that person. They walked away, which is not smart because that person's still going to win in the end. Or that, or that's what could be blocking your finances because you are holding back. got the buffalo card and you also got the cosmic egg it's like every time i look at this card i just think about um like spiritual protection because you know they say like if a snake come around you and like if it wrap around you and it don't bite you that means that you got a good spirit and you see like this this snake is like it's calm it's cool collect like it's not it's just there so i feel like like you you are protected they're telling me to slow down so i'm gonna slow down okay but let's see what this buffalo
I'm coming. I gotta look up what this buffalo means. Okay, so it's just a symbolism of manifesting your desires. Um, it's the earth element, so that's probably why it's coming out because you know Virgo is also a birth element, a, a earth element, and it also stands for bravery, kindness, strength, and respect. Okay. You also have the B card, so somebody probably is pregnant. Okay, now let's get your affirmation cards. All right. So you have the door that closes for me is the wrong door. The door that opens for me is the right door. You also have, even when things aren't perfect or don't seem to be working out, I choose to trust in life. Everything is going to be okay. So just trust that everything is going to be okay. Continue to work on your solar plexus chakra. Continue to work on your heart chakra. Um, and those are your messages for the week. I'm gonna have to say this on all the messages. Don't, don't, those are your messages for this week. Don't forget to stay tuned for our Facebook Lives every Monday and Wednesday. And don't forget to stay tuned for our website update. I'll see you all next week.